fragrance friends it is time for another what am i using this week when it comes to scentsy so i've got all of my goods here we're gonna walk through it together are you ready let's dive in all right so first and foremost let's talk about starting to get to be those summer warmer months if you guys have family members who have four legs and are furry, um, then you know, you know, that when we are letting the dogs in or out, right, back and forth all day long through the rain, through the heat of the day, all the things, right? I'm not gonna lie. I love my hero, my dog, okay? Love my dog. He's a good boy. But can be a stinky boy. He just can. So we have our pet line. It is, we've got a couple different products in the pet line. We've got the pet shampoo. We've got a spray detangler. So if you have, have a family member with four legs that has a little bit longer hair, curlier, whatever, and you have to brush it, that's going to be what you're going to want. And, and just FYI, yes, I know it is a pet detangler, but I'm I'm not going to name names, but I knew, do know some people, uh, customers and consultants who have actually used it in their own hair, and they say that it works amazing as a detangler. Now, I have not yet tried that, so <laughs> I don't know how all that goes, but I'm just passing it along to you. But we also have in that line, in our pet line, is our dog deodorizing spray. And when they came out with a new scent in this, when we launched our spring summer catalog, I was all about it because I had been using the other scents. And I'm not gonna lie, I was probably getting a little nose blind to them. And I needed something a little bit more fragrancy that I enjoyed, if that makes sense. So we came out with cherry blossom and mango. And so of course I got it in the shampoo, I got it in the Fresh Nut Pup because Hero, he has very short hair um, and not much of an undercoat. So I don't have to use the tangler spray with him. I have enough hair to clean up around this house. But I will say, can you hear this? Like literally, there's, there's only like maybe a couple sprays left in this baby. But this Fresh Nut Pup has been saving the day for, uh, I don't know, the last couple of weeks now. But yeah. It is now time for a refill. I went to go spray him down yesterday when he was coming back inside. And I was like, okay, put that on the list. So um, I'm going to say though, the cherry blossom and mango is absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And if you are one of my customers and, and happen to be catching this, um, I do have samples for those of you who do have dogs, if you want to give this a try, I've got the samples ready in the shampoo and in the Freshen Up Pup. So you can get a little bit, um, a little bit to try, see how it works, see if you like it, see if the fragrance is something for you or your furry friend um, and go from there. So, all right, let's move on though. Uh, before I get to the, well, no, let me, mm -mm, I'm gonna save that for a minute. Let's get to our wax first. All right, so here in my office, now these are not the empty ones, I must confess. I'm still trying to get into the habit of saving all of the empties so I can share with you. But here in my office, here's the thing. We had a Little Mermaid launch not too long ago. And in celebration of that, because we were bringing back the scent, Kiss the Girl, Come on, if you know the song, if you know the movie, you know the song. Okay, um, I had gone ahead and I had sent out some happy mail to customers who had ordered The Little Mermaid through me. And part of that happy mail, because I was getting it in my Scentsy Club, I already had it. So I already had Kiss the Girl and I still had Ursula, poor unfortunate souls. So I actually made up a bunch of wax samples Um and I had sent out samples and, and some other fun things uh, that are mermaidy themed out to my customers who had ordered from me, who ordered those specific products. Um, I had a bunch of wax samples left over. And here's the thing, it's starting to get warmer. <laughs> and for some of you, it's getting warmer than, than others of us. Um, I'm here in Kansas City. It has been in the 90s for like a week or so. This week has been a little bit better, but um, with the humidity, it just, it's, anyway, um, 
so it's it's kind of past the point of no return for me to actually be mailing samples wax samples anyway i'm doing felt samples um, and getting all of those out so you guys can still experience any of the scents that way because remember you can put those felt pieces into a clean warmer so just dump out the the excess wax that you may have wipe it clean throw in the felt sample when you grab it or when you get it in the mail and then you can leave that guy in there and it is perfectly fine it is not going to burn or anything why because we have warmers not burners we do not burn here in the world of scentsy friends we only our warmers are licensed and regulated to warm to 98.9 degrees okay and so what that means is you can leave them on for 24 hours um but you can also leave that felt in there and not have to worry about it but once the felt soaks back out that heat will warm it up the wax will come out of the felt and then you can just toss the felt in the trash but that way you still get to experience the scent without a big old mess but since i threw away my empties and wanted to share with you these two scents. Mm. And um, I will say that Kiss the Girl is probably still my favorite. The Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls, I actually do like it. It's just not one of those that I consider like a fave. It's not a favorite for me. So um, that one's great, but this one is greater. It's just fresh and happy. And so I put I put a mixture of both of them into, <laughs> embarrassingly enough, um, I have warmers at my office. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. May or may not have six warmers in here. Um, but I don't, I don't put wax on all of them. Uh, but um, I put wax on three of them. <laughs> So when I, I always close the door when I leave my office for the day, right? It's like me closing off work. I'm done. And so last night I had to come back into the office for something, um, walk back in and I was just hit with just, oh, it smells so good in here. So I will say these two scents combined are amazing, but this one you still, I believe can still add it to your Scentsy Club now. So you can go ahead and add that one in if if that's something that you missed out on before. All right, so what else have I been warming? Oh yeah, I've been warming pink lemon water. I still have one final cube left in this container, but I do like the citrus factor in this one. Um, oh, it's that lemony citrus. Um, I really, really am starting to enjoy it more. When I first got it, I was like, mm, I don't know, this one's more on the lighter side of the scent world. I like a stronger scent. I like it to be really strong, but I will say this one has really been growing on me. So I've been warming a lot of it. So in between wax changes, in between wax change days, rather, I've been throwing this in into certain warmers and yeah. So I'm really, I'm really vibing on it. I like it. Um, another one, well, actually another two, um, that, well, no, I'm gonna phrase that, I'm gonna three. Four. <laughs> I knew there was four. Um, my weekly wax change. If you all missed that, okay, on my Instagram or on my Facebook, right? I change my wax every Wednesday and I always share what I'm warming this week and in my main warmers, right? So I changed it all out. So I, because I made up samples, I still have them all ready to go and they are ready to be mailed out. I'm finishing them up today so I can get them in the mail to all of you. So all four cents are coming out so excited. But so of course I've been warming kukui and coconut. I will say this one is nice. It's more of that fresh scent and you get a lot of coconut in it. So if you're a coconut fan, kukui and coconut is going to be your jam. All right. So you're going to get that coconutty flavor or scent. Right? <laughs> I mean, you could eat it, but don't. Um, cucumber and cactus water. Oh, OMG, I'm in love in love. I have this in laundry too. I've been using it in the laundry, been using it in the wax. I also have it in the Scentsy Fresh. I haven't opened it yet because I'm using the rest of what I have now, but trust me, it's being opened very soon. Also feeling punchy. I threw that in there. This one is absolutely fabulous. If you want a strong, fruity, punch type of a scent, right? Like that berry punch, this is your bar. This is 
your scent, friends. So this one's absolutely amazing. I will say I put this one and I put already i put this one and this one the cucumber and cactus water and feeling punchy into my scentsy club so i will be getting those forever and ever and ever until i decide to no longer get them um but also been warming peachy and palm trees and this one is starting to grow on me at first i was like oh this one i think might be my favorite didn't end up my favorite but i will say i love a good peach scent so you get a lot of peach in this one it's it's it almost surprised me because it was pink. So I was expecting something else. It's peachy. <laughs> it's peachy. So uh, that's a good one. So all in all, the summer collection as a whole, kudos, Scentsy. You knocked it out of the park. All right. Um, another one that I started warming and I changed out, you know, yesterday was wax change day. So um, I also changed out the wax in um, my tween's room because... If you know, you know. Okay. And so what I've started in her room is pineapple in fuego. It's very tropical. It's very pineapple-y. But I like it because it's that citrus, tropical, fresh scent. And let me just say, when I was going in there to hang up her laundry, amazing. Amazing. All right. So, all right. Um, now let's talk about some Scentsy Soak. Oh my goodness. All right, Apricot Vanilla. I have always adored this scent. Always. So good. The apricot is so strong in this one. You absolutely cannot miss it. But here's the kicker, okay? So this is maybe why I'm on a peach kick. Because the actual scent is heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream. This one is peachy as well. So can you guess the vibe that's been happening in my house this week? Okay, it's fruity, it's peachy, it's bright, it's happy. So that's what's been happening in my house this week. But as you can tell, this is, I got maybe like a little bit left in that bag, but this one's done. So I love my Scentsy Soak. And if you guys don't have a bathtub or you don't take a bath, you can put a little bit, um, if you've got like one of those little foot spas, right? Or if you don't have one, you can probably go to like any of the Dollar Trees or even the Target Dollar Spot, which is where I get mine. I get like some bigger buckets, like plastic buckets and like the Target Dollar Spot or back where they have like the patio stuff, the outdoor stuff um, for like the summertime, if we have friends over, if we do a party, um, so we can put ice in it and things like that, right? But I will say, here's a little, fun quick tip from Jackie to you. If you need a little bit of like spa feeling, okay, grab some Scentsy Soak, grab one of those big buckets next time that you're at one of those places, just grab one. And you can fill it up with, I usually do like a warm water, I don't do hot, I don't do cold, just warm. Um, and then I will add that in and then soak my feet and oh, so good just so good all right so you can do that without having to have a bathtub another tip for you which might be fun um if you i mean we as consultants nine times out of ten i always have samples of something in my purse um not wax during the during the summer of course but um if i have scent soak samples made up i usually will at least carry one and i always take one specifically when I go and treat myself to a pedicure at the salon. Yeah, that's right. So as I'm having my pedicure, I usually, they kind of know by now, but when I first started doing it, I would always ask, is it okay if I put this in there? It's just um, Himalayan salt and um, yeah. So, and they were like, yeah, and Epson. They were like, yeah, it's fine. So I would sprinkle that in. I will tell you the entire spa was so jealous of my pedicure okay they always are every time i go in so usually i bring a couple extra and i will hand a couple extra to the people sitting next to me so that's just a little fun thing for you all right so i also have been diffusing this week and speaking of that summer collection i am telling you the entire the entire summer collection is the bomb it's the bomb now come people all right so i have been diffusing um, what, which one is this? It is the Cala, Calamansi and Coconut. I can never really get that right. Calamansi and Coconut 
fantastic. I will say it's not as coconutty. It's just that spa scent to me and I like it. I like it a lot. And then my absolute favorite, which I'm, I'm already planning on getting more of, is um, the Beach Berry Smoothie. Beach Berry Smoothie. It is divine and it is so good. I've been putting it here. I have a diffuser here in my office and then the bedroom and then in the living room. Oh, so good. And it's so nice and strong. I usually, I'm pretty liberal with how many drops I put into my diffuser when I'm, I'm diffusing something. And so, um, I'm not gonna lie. I probably use maybe 10 drops, give or take. Uh, but I will say that it is fantastic and it's perfect for just getting a little bit of that scent into the air without having to change the wax, without having to change anything else. And it really can create a whole mood. In the bedroom one, I, which I really love in the premium diffuser and in the deluxe diffuser both, you don't even have to turn the light on. So at night, if I'm really wanting to like relax, relax, I will put in like somewhat of a calming oil into my diffuser, won't even turn the light on on it and just let it diffuse as I'm sleeping. And I'm telling you, you get some really good sleep that way. So, all right. So there we go. Um, my basket is empty. So I am still going to continue to do these every single week just for you. So you know what you need to be getting and what you will love warming in your house. So I will catch you guys next week. I will share with you and until then, peace, love, happiness. Ha. Huh? Thank <laughs> you.